Hi, and welcome to the Physics 2 Tutor. Here we're going to continue what we talked about the last time, where we talked about the Carnot cycle and the heat engines that we were using to get uh, work done by a system. And we're going to talk about the reverse of that, which is refrigeration. We all have experience with it. We know that in our kitchen sits this magical box. Somehow we plug it in the wall, and inside is very cold. And as you might imagine, that was a huge invention, because once you did that, you could put your food in there, and it wouldn't spoil as fast and uh, so on and so forth, so it's obviously very important, just as important as the engine. What we're going to find out is that a refrigerator is basically an engine, a heat engine, in, in run in reverse. And we'll draw some pictures and show you how that works. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's recap really quickly what we just got done talking about just a minute ago. Uh, let's talk about the heat engine. So recall the heat engine from the previous section. Basically you have a heat source okay and it's at some temperature some hot temperature right and so it's coming in into this apparatus that you build and out spits work and in comes heat from the hot reservoir and out goes heat to the cold reservoir and so there's a cold reservoir down here okay and it's is held constant at a T sub C that's a basic engine you have heat coming in heat coming out the difference of which is the work that you do. So this is the work done, done by, underline, the engine. All right? All right, so what we're going to have here, let me go ahead and switch colors just because I feel like it. Let me write this down because this is important. If we run a heat engine, In reverse, we have a refrigerator. All right, so it's kind of symmetrical when you think about it. So the engines and the refrigerators really go hand in hand. Once you understand one, uh, you really are going to understand both. So to show you that, let's draw it real quick. So you're going to have, same as before, I'm actually going to draw almost exactly the same picture. That's why it's kind of cool to, to learn about refrigerators. So you have this thing coming up here, and you have this thing coming down here. So you have, let's just put the TH up here. You have the hot reservoir here, just like you did before. You have the cold reservoir here, just like you had before. But everything's running in reverse. So that means the main difference between this is, this and the other thing is, you're sucking heat out of your cold reservoir. You're delivering heat to your hot reservoir. Okay, and in order to do this, in order to actually pull this thing off, you are not producing work, you're supplying work. So you're putting work into the system. So really take a few seconds to make sure you understand the difference between this and the one above it. And the one above it, okay, we had an engine that was producing work. It work was coming out, heat was coming in from a hot side, and it was being delivered to a colder side. Here is exactly the opposite. We plug this apparatus in the wall, uh, and it's taking power from the electric grid. So you pay somebody to produce this work, to uh, the work that, uh, that goes in this uh, refrigerator is doing. So there's some apparatus in here. It's taking work, it's doing work, okay, uh, instead of producing work. Uh, and so work is done on this system. And so as work is done on the system, heat is flowing out of the cold reservoir and it's being delivered to some hotter environment, all right? So what does this mean? In real life, I want you to think about your refrigerator in your kitchen, okay? What this is doing here, this takes heat 